Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm 91 verses 1. Hello family, a very warm welcome back to the Lovely Start Food channel. Thank you so much for coming back. This eggplant stew is going to be one of your favorite. It is easy, quick, just so delicious. All you need few ingredients, the simplicity of this recipe it's just mind-blowing and it's very very healthy as well as well please be sure to stay tuned and enjoy this recipe and also do not forget to give me a thumbs up share with your friends and family it really really helps the channel grow so without further ado let's go right into it as you see here i have all my ingredients also listed below in the description box so please be sure to check them out it has a right quantity as well so i'm going to begin by cutting my king of the ingredients which is my eggplant okay do not bother just peeling off the skin just go ahead wash it very well and cut them into this nice fine sizes all right it is absolutely easy this way so once you're done you want to go ahead and put everything in your pot and add enough water to get this cooking we'll be having this with some boiled eggs as well so i'm going to add my eggs directly here i'm trying to save some energy <laughs> and also not to waste too much water and also watch too many dishes as i am done with the cooking okay so i'm going to add my eggs here and i'm going to add enough water seasoning it with salt is very very important okay i'll cover it and i'm going to allow this to cook for the next 10 minutes while waiting i'll then go ahead and prep for all my other ingredients i'll start by cutting my onions as you see here i'm using one large yellow onion that once done with that i would then go ahead and cut my medium sized red onions as well that is solely for garnishing and also so many flavors what i love about this recipe is everything needs to be chopped you do not have to blend anything at all okay so it is absolutely incredible just a big fan of this delicious stew i'm going to also cut one habanero pepper as well once done i'll then go ahead and chop some red bell anaheim peppers they were so nice and big <laughs> oh, i love them i'm just going to cut each and every one and set them aside okay it is absolutely incredible <laughs> And oh hey, if you're enjoying this recipe, please kindly give me a thumbs up. It is totally free, but it just helped this channel grow bigger and bigger, okay? So do that for me. Thank you so much. So once I'm done cutting all the onions and the peppers, I will still go ahead and cut my tomatoes. I am using three and a half medium size of fresh tomatoes you may also decide to use the can't chop tomatoes as well whichever way will be very very well done okay so i'm going to cut them until i am done with everything once i'm done with that my prep is over and we are going to start with a stew process at once look how beautiful everything is looking absolutely wonderful now, i'm now beginning the show i am going to add about 150 ml of cooking oil use any oil of choice and i'll then add my chopped onions fried for about two minutes After frying your onions for about two minutes, I went ahead to add some fermented glucose bean. That is dawa dawa. You may also use some omone if that's what you have at home. It is absolutely great. Okay, I'm going to fry that for about two minutes as well, and then throw in my chopped habanero peppers. Okay, I'm going to fry this for about a minute or two as well then add my chopped tomatoes this stew family was an easy breezy i enjoy every bit of it no stress no wahala at all okay so add all my chopped tomatoes stir gently fry this on its own for about five minutes actually i'm going to go ahead and cover it and allow this to do the frying process for about five to seven minutes on a low to medium heat of course just look how beautiful it looks so so nice 
and you can see that the tomatoes are nicely cooked and the aroma is popping up already so i'm now going to add some mackerel in tomato sauce you may also decide to use corned beef some tuna flakes or whatever that you have to enhance these flavors okay cover it and allow it to cook for about three to four minutes more and i went to check on my eggplant they were nicely cooked together with the eggs smart right <laughs> that's exactly i wanted it to be so the eggs were nicely cooked i'm going to create some incisions so that when we put everything in the stew it will be able to absorb all that deliciousness as well we love our eggs why not so now the base of the stew is looking absolutely gorgeous we fry this for about 10 minutes with everything and it looks so so good so i went in with some smoked mackerel which i've also covered a recipe of that i'm going to link it here and below so please do well to check it out for more amazing flavors i'll then add my nicely cooked eggplant seasoning well with a bit of salt and i'm going to stir it gently so that everything incorporates very very well look how beautiful just so beautiful colorful everything is looking it is absolutely incredible now i'm going to season my stew with my all-purpose natural blend spice mix and then some salt of course this stew does not need too much seasoning at all you just want it to be so authentically the way it is and i've also shared the recipe of my natural spice blend mix and it's just an easy breezy cooking with it i just love it so so much if you've not watched it if you missed it i'm going to link it here and below so i cover it i allow this to simmer for about three minutes while i'll throw in all the other vegetable for garnishing and also for more flavors i added some red bell peppers some chopped spring onions and some chopped red onions just look how beautiful and colorful the colors are coming through this is absolutely amazing fam you should save this recipe right here and give it a try it is so delicious gently stir everything together for it to incorporate well while well, i'll go in with my last but not the least ingredient which are my nicely boiled eggs amazing adding the eggs here makes everything better okay it is so so lovely going to gently stir everything together and allow this to simmer for about two to three minutes and your delicious eggplant stew should be done it is so good filled with lots of vegetables here you can pair with your rice your boiled plantain ripe plantain some boiled cocoa yam or yam etc etc the list goes on and on so there you have it family today we've paired with some deliciously boiled yam and it was just perfection Thank you so much for watching family i really really enjoyed your company with me and i hope that you learn a thing or two and you're going to give this delicious eggplant stew a shot because you truly deserve this i love this for you it is absolutely delicious please kindly give me a thumbs up do not forget that and also share with your friends and family and if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovey Statch. my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so please come on board and subscribe <laughs> to join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and as always know that you are so beautiful just the way you are i will see you in my next one have a blessed day bye